One of the defining features of the futures market is the standardization of contracts. Two important aspects of standardized futures contracts are the contract unit and the contract notional value. The contract unit can be based on volume, weight, or a financial measurement, depending on the contract and the underlying product or market. For example, a single COMEX gold contract unit, trading code GC, is 100 troy ounces, which is measured by weight. A NYMEX WTI crude oil contract unit, trading code CL, is 1,000 barrels of oil, measured by volume. The E-mini S&P 500 contract unit, trading code ES, is a financial calculation based on a fixed multiplier times the S&P 500 index. Contract notional value, also known as contract value, is the financial expression of the contract unit and the current futures contract price. Using the same contracts, how is notional value determined? Assume a gold futures contract is trading at a price of $1,000. The notional value of the contract is calculated by multiplying the contract unit by the futures price. In this case, 100 troy ounces times $1,000. The notional value for this contract at this price would be $100,000. If WTI crude oil is trading at $50 and the contract unit is 1,000 barrels, the notional would be 50 times 1,000, or $50,000. Now assume the E-mini S&P 500 futures are trading at 2120 even. The multiplier for this contract is $50. $50 multiplied by the contract price, you get a notional value of $106,000. Why is contract unit and notional value so important to market participants? Notional values can be used to calculate hedge ratios versus other futures contracts or another risk position in a related underlying market. How might a portfolio manager with a $10 million U.S. equity market exposure use notional value of the E-mini S&P 500 futures to determine a hedge ratio? A hedge ratio is determined by taking the value at risk, in this case $10 million, and dividing it by the notional value of the contract. Using our previous example of the E-mini S&P 500 futures with a value of $106,000, 10 million divided by 106,000 rounded to a whole number equals 94 futures contracts. If the portfolio manager sells 94 E-mini S&P 500 futures against her long equity cash position, she has effectively hedged her market risk. There you have it, contract unit and contract notional value, two important features of standardized futures contracts.